While there are many books on the financial crisis, most just try to explain how we got into this mess. My book is the only one that sets forth a comprehensive blueprint for reform. We've bailed out too many financial institutions, many of which really didn't need the capital. And we've done it in a manner that I call one-way capitalism. We as taxpayers take all the downside if these institutions get into trouble and fail, but we get very little, if any, of the upside. The FDIC guaranteed not just the deposits of small investors, but bonds being issued by banks to the largest and most sophisticated investors in the world. And these guarantees were 100% guarantees. Do we really need to guarantee 100% of the debt of every bank and thrift in the United States? If we had 90% guarantees, that would be pretty good for investors, and it wouldn't create moral hazard. Unfortunately, boards of directors did not do a good job in monitoring financial institutions. Although many of the directors are now independent, and they all followed the procedures of Sarbanes-Oxley, they seem to have little idea about how much risk was being taken by their institutions. And they were prepared to approve bonuses, very large bonuses, that turned out to be on performance, which was really ephemeral. And this new regulatory system needs to close two glaring gaps. First, we have a glaring gap in the area of financial derivatives. We allowed these derivatives, like credit default swaps, to grow hugely without any oversight. And second is we have a glaring gap in hedge funds. These have grown again very, very quickly, but without any regulatory framework. These financial crises wreak havoc not only on the financial sector, but on the whole economy. People lose their jobs. People lose their homes. People lose their savings. So we need to really reduce the frequency and severity of financial crisis. My book attempts to do that by setting forth a detailed set of recommendations, a blueprint for reforms. If these reforms are followed, we will reduce the frequency and severity of financial crisis in the United States.